In today's funny story joke, prepare for an uproarious tale of marketing mishaps and divine negotiations. This comedy follows the hilarious journey of a fried chicken company owner as he tries to strike an unbelievable deal with the Pope. Get ready to laugh out loud as we dive into a story that's both funny and unforgettable. In a bustling city, a savvy entrepreneur named Henry ran the famous Henry's Fried Chicken. Known for its crispy golden chicken and secret blend of herbs and spices, the business had once enjoyed immense success. However, recent months had seen a decline in sales, and Henry was desperate to turn things around. He needed a marketing strategy that would catapult his company back to the top. One evening, while pondering over his dilemma, Henry had a light bulb moment. He thought, What if I could get the Vatican to mention my chicken in the Lord's Prayer? That would surely grab everyone's attention. With renewed enthusiasm, he decided to contact the Pope himself. After navigating through layers of Vatican officials, Henry finally managed to get a phone call with the Pope. Nervously, he presented his bold proposal. Your Holiness, Henry began. I am the owner of Henry's Fried Chicken, and I have a rather unique request. I would like you to change the words of the Lord's Prayer from Give us this day our daily bread to Give us this day our daily chicken. In return, I will donate $10 million to the Vatican. The Pope, taken aback by such an unconventional offer, responded kindly but firmly. I'm sorry, my son. It's the Lord's Prayer and I cannot change it. The words are sacred and have been passed down through generations. Disappointed but not discouraged, Henry thanked the Pope and hung up. A month passed and sales continued to plummet. Desperation began to set in and Henry decided to try his luck once more. Your Holiness, Henry pleaded during his second call. I really need your help. Sales are worse than ever. If you agree to my request, I will donate 50 million to the Vatican. The Pope sighed, recognizing the dire situation Henry was in. Your offer is very tempting, he admitted. The church could do a lot of good with that much money. It would help us to support many charities and initiatives. However, I must decline again. It is the Lord's Prayer, and I simply cannot change the words. Henry's hopes were dashed once more, and he hung up feeling the weight of his company's future on his shoulders. Two more months dragged by, and Henry's situation grew increasingly dire. Sales had hit an all-time low, and he knew he had to make a final, desperate attempt. Gathering every ounce of courage, Henry made one last call to the Vatican. Your Holiness, he said, his voice trembling. This is my final offer. If you change the Lord's Prayer for me, I will give 100 million to the Vatican. The Pope paused, considering the enormous sum. Let me get back to you. The Pope then convened an urgent meeting with his cardinals. They gathered in a grand hall, filled with ornate decorations and a sense of anticipation. The Pope addressed them solemnly. I have some good news and some bad news, he began. The good news is that a fried chicken company is going to donate $100 million to the Vatican. But that ain't just the end. This funny story's twist is about to get really twisty. A murmur of excitement rippled through the room. The Cardinals could already envision the numerous charitable projects and improvements this windfall could support. However, the Pope's expression turned sober as he continued. The bad news is that we have lost the bread account. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.